You're listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour. If you miss any of the program, you can find the podcast at the bottom of the page at SunnyRadio.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Thursday. I've got two guests today. Our first guest we're going to talk to who's working on breaking or actually making a world record. And then in a moment, we're going to be visiting with a young man from the group called Collision. And we're going to talk to him about their organization and also the fact that they will be at the human race. But right now, let's get things started. We're going to talk about pickleball and we're going to talk about a world record with Dean Matt, also known as Mucho Dean Arrow, which I love that nickname, by the way. He's uh, he's going to be in Sioux Falls this weekend uh, playing pickleball. And this is not your first game. You're doing 48 games in 48 states. Is that right, Dean? Hey, John, nice to be with you. Yeah, we're doing 48 games in 48 states in less than 48 days. So I call it the 48-48-48 Pickleball Challenge. Yeah. Uh, we'll, actually, we'll actually get it done in about 26 days. And and you're doing this like as your own world record, and if somebody wants to try to beat it, they got to beat you, don't they? Yeah, and they could have it. If they could do it, that's fine. Yeah, and, and what makes it possible, I've been flying a uh, pl- uh, plane since high school, and I lived in the Chicago area, moved down with my wife. Uh, to uh, Sarasota in Florida and thought we would just golf the rest of our lives and knew nothing about it. I, I heard of pickleball, but really uh, didn't know anything about it. But but living in Florida, you have to have a you have to play pickleball. I guess it's part of the part of the law down there. <laughs> it's the rules. Now I, I rule. have been familiar with pickleball because in Sioux Falls, there's quite a few people that have gotten involved in the last few years. The thing that I just discovered is I was like so. Why is it called that? I'm like, are there pickles involved? And they said, no, the original people who invented it, their dog's name was Pickles. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, that makes a little more sense because I'm thinking, why Why is it called that? But you you are playing this now in every single state, 48 of the states, so not Hawaii, not Alaska, but the 48 contiguous states. And you're going to be in Sioux Falls this Sunday. If people want to come out and watch and be a part of it and maybe learn more about pickleball, they could probably do that, couldn't they? Yeah, they could. Um Every every stop is kind of different. In some stops, we're, we've played uh, Special Olympics folks. We've played uh, low income kids. We've played professionals. We've played mayors. The mayor of Albuquerque, uh, for instance, uh, last Saturday we had a big event out there. And uh, it's really not so, so much about me and this goofy uh, world record I'm chasing after, but it's really a chance to get the media out and talk about the local. Uh, pickleball community you know a lot of parks across the united states are putting in pickleball courts they can't build them quick enough there's a lot of private clubs going up uh we're going to be playing even on an airport tarmac in uh, in maryland they're going to strike the court right out there i'm going to land the plane roll out our portable net like pickleball and then we're going to take off to uh, i think harrisburg pennsylvania right after that so a little bit of everything i like that that's really cool we have friends who have a pickleball court at their house so this is something that's really taken off and for people who are not familiar explain a little bit what pickleball is like if they've never seen it if they don't know anything how would you describe it yeah so pickleball i guess is widely described as a cross between ping pong and badminton and tennis the court itself is about the third of the size of a tennis court and it's played kind of with a wiffle ball most pickleball is played as doubles, although there are single players. And the beautiful thing about pickleball, it's such a social sport. I remember as a kid getting the family and getting the tennis rackets and then going out and you would get on a court with your family and you would play as long as you wanted and then you would leave. Pickleball is not like that. You just you could go out to the court with nobody, put your paddle in the, in the little paddle thing there, and whatever four paddles, you know, you play with people older than you, younger than you, women, men, uh, better than you, worse than you. It's just a, a lot of fun. My wife and I go out to our local pickleball courts in Sarasota about four or five times a week, actually. And um, we are actually going to play a 93-year-old man who we play with every every day that he's out there. He's going to be at our 48th and final stop in Sarasota, so oh, I'm going nice. to play him. I love that. And again, the 48-48-48 Pickleball Challenge comes to Sioux Falls this weekend. It'll be at Riverdale Park this Sunday, May 14th. That's Mother's Day, 7 p.m., and you're going to be playing with three locals. And uh, if people want to come out and watch, they can certainly come out. I appreciate you taking the time to chat, Dean. It's It's been fun to chat, and I wish you the best on this. I hope this goes well, and and here's what I think would be really cool. If somebody does challenge you, then I think you need to make it where they have to take you with to, to do it. They have to beat you in every single match. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, the, the Sioux Falls stuff, one, one last thing is, it's going to be cool because I'm shuttling people in and out of my plane. 
uh, along the route. For instance, my wife is here in Portland today. She's going to be with me through, through Salt Lake City. I pick up a passenger in, in Sioux Falls, a local resident there, Rod Anderson, who I met in um, in Florida, and he's going to be with me all the way to Indianapolis. And then I kick oh, him nice. out of the plane, and he goes back home. And Yeah, so it's going to be a lot of fun, and we've had a lot of media coverage uh, already. So I look forward to seeing everybody out in Sioux Falls. Well, we will see you on Sunday. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. Again, Dean Matt, the 48-48-48 Pickleball Challenge. It'll be in Sioux Falls this Sunday, May 14th at 7 p.m. at Riverdale Park. I've got a link to all the information at facebook.com slash sunnyradio and facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. What a year. With prices on everything going up, it's more important than ever to have a better credit card. Some people use a credit card that's not a very good one. At bettercreditcards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Excited to visit right now with Gordon Stewart. He is with an organization called Collision, and we're going to talk a little bit about Collision, but also invite you to help them raise some money with the Human Race. That is coming up next month. It's in June, June 3rd. We'll chat all about that here in a bit. But first, Gordon, tell me about Collision and how long you've been involved there. Awesome. Thanks so much for having me, John. So Collision is a student-led ministry that builds teams of students. They see their school as a mission field, and we equip them to share the hope of Jesus to transform lives. That's our one-liner. That's what every student is sharing with their teachers, with the administration, in their schools and around the city. And I've been with Collision since 2015. I ran into John Glasser at Patrick Henry Middle School, and he had two students, and they were just talking to him about Jesus. And I was like, I want to know how to do that. Nice. And uh, the rest is history. I love that. And Collision is an amazing organization here in Sioux Falls. And if people would like to get involved, how do they get involved at Collision? Yeah, I mean, it's as easy as going to the website to get started. That's collision.org. And you can see at the top, it just talks about getting involved. Uh, For adults, it looks like helping be a team coach. So with uh, the students, we are asking them to start teams where those teams are focused on sharing the gospel with at least 12 of their peers in a school year. And an adult coach helps those students stay on track on weekly goals and just the, the, the gathering together and really growing together. And so that's how a, a, an adult can get involved. And then obviously any student who's hearing this, if you want to get involved, uh, you can DM us on Instagram, you can find us on Facebook, and uh, we will connect you to an adult who's overseeing your school. I love that. Now, is Collision in every school in the area or most schools? Uh, how many schools are you guys in? Do you know? Yeah, we're in 20 plus schools. There are a few that we are not in right now, but that's not like a uh, forever sort of a thing. It's just because for one reason or another, there's not a student right now that we are connected with that uh, wants to bring Collision in their school. And so uh, we are from uh, anywhere from Hartford to Brandon, down to Canton, Harrisburg, T, and everywhere in Sioux Falls. I love that. And if somebody listening is going, hey, this this is something that I think my child might be interested in, they can go to the website collision.org and get all the information. It is a great group. I'm familiar with this organization. You guys do an, an amazing job. And I'll tell you this. Thank you. The average student that's in Collision is probably doing a better job than most Christians that are not involved. You know, we go to church every weekend. Uh, I, I think that what they do is probably uh, having a bigger impact than most adults. And and I I just want to say that you know our vision for collision. So if you go to our website and you see the vision statement, I just want to just share this. It's to glorify God by helping unite and mobilize the local church in order to fulfill the Great Commission, so that every student has the opportunity to respond to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I, I thank you for the compliments on uh, how we are inspiring and activating youth. Our deepest hope is that. Really, it gets down to one question that we're asking our students every week, and, and, and that is just simply, who's discipling you, and who are you discipling? Yeah. And you have to be sharing the gospel in order to have a disciple. And so 
that's uh, that's trying to be really simple and, and honoring to everyone in their journey. I love that. In this day and age, the the word influencer is something that people are familiar with, but we are all influenced by those who are around us. And I think it's a wonderful idea to surround yourself with good people because then you're influenced in a good way. Absolutely. And there is more brokenness in the world than ever before. And it's really easy to find yourself around people who are even accidentally influencing you in negative ways. And so um, one of the things that we uh, distinguish in our, in our process is really just saying, who do you know that's passionately following Jesus? And we get a lot of pushback on that actually from, uh, from people because, Oh, how do you quantify passionately following Jesus? And uh, that's a discussion for, for, uh, for another time. And it's a longer conversation, but for anyone listening, my, my, my deepest hope right now is that, that you know someone that's passionately following Jesus. And if you don't, that you would feel, uh, uh, confidence. You would, you would hear a tone in my voice and hear a tone in John's voice that, uh, we really do want you to know someone. And, yeah. uh, and if that starts with us, amen. Absolutely. Again, if you'd like to get involved, another way to do it is join us at the Human Race. It's coming up next month, June 3rd, Sertoma Park. And I love this event because it's a whole group of people getting together from different organizations for a common goal, raising money for great nonprofits. One of the nonprofits is Collision. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us about Collision today. Thank you so much, John. Absolutely. If you'd like to join us at the Human Race, I've got a link to all of the information. HealthConnectSD.org is the website. I've got a link to them, and I've got a link to Collision at Facebook.com slash Sunny Radio and Facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold silver report and learn how to qualify for up to ten thousand dollars in free silver genesis gold ira.com would like to help protect your ira today with a simple phone call learn more and get the phone number at genesis gold ira.com that's genesis gold ira.com time now for this day in sioux falls history brought to you by the sioux falls fun page and sunny 93.3 it was on this day may 11th 1858 the stage was set for a once in a history type of situation to play out on this day Minnesota was admitted to the Union as the 32nd state, leaving Sioux Falls and the surrounding area completely outside of any legal authority or jurisdiction in the USA. So Minnesota territory used to stretch from the Mississippi River on the western border of Wisconsin all the way to the Missouri River, which is halfway through modern-day North and South Dakota. However, when Minnesota became a state, the western chunk of the territory, which would eventually become Dakota Territory, was completely sliced off. Because the land held less than 1,000 settlers and perhaps more importantly, was constantly in struggle with the Native American tribes that lived there. The U.S. government was not eager to legally decide the status of the region, so you might say they were afraid to put a label on things. So, from this day in 1858 until March 2nd, 1861, the entire region west of the Minnesota border was in a complete legal limbo, belonging to no state, no territory, no region, and no federal district. So for about three years, we were completely rogue. This day in Sioux Falls history has been brought to you by SiouxFallsFunPage.com and Sunny 93.3. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If it's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring in your current phone. iPhones and Samsung phones both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just 15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Thursday, May 11th, brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Equity markets tried to move higher Wednesday following the CPI report. While the headline figure fell a tenth compared to last year and came in below consensus, the rest of the data set overshadows the decline. Headline inflation accelerated compared to last month, and the core figures were as expected and unchanged from last month. This leaves inflation running at more than double the Fed's target and does not allow them to ease back on interest rates. The takeaway for the market is that interest rates 
rates may not rise anymore, but they're not going down anytime soon. The news helped lift tech stocks dependent on debt to fuel growth. The rally lifted the Nasdaq Composite by more than 1% to the highest level in six months and has the index on track to extend the gains. The next target for the tech-savvy index is near 13,000, and it will be a tough line to cross. The S&P 500 is still below critical resistance at 4150. You can get the inside track in your inbox at marketbeatminute.com. Insurancechicken.com wants to know, how much are you paying for your insurance? I know it seems like a hassle to switch to a different company, but if you can save a few bucks, 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 it's worth crossing the road to insurancechicken.com. We have several of the top insurance companies trying to earn your business. They do that by offering great insurance that is cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, enough of the silly chicken puns. It's time to get serious about saving you money on your insurance at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com.